Hello everyone, howdy hi, welcome back to my channel and today's video. Today's gonna be a really brief chit chat about the cheat code to perfection. <laughs> say Victoria there's no such thing you're right you are so <laughs> right this video is going to be about bettering yourself but please keep in mind perfection does not exist as always don't forget to give this a like dislike share with a friend comment your thoughts down below at the end as well as click the notification bell after you subscribe to notify about all the uploads I post whether it's community post shorts or actual videos so with that let's talk about this authenticity and integrity are so important and most of the people that you probably consider perfect most of the people you probably consider what you're striving for what you want to be those people are authentic and they have integrity and it reminds me of a tiktok i filmed and posted in fact i'm gonna play it now Chasing aesthetics is not going to make you a better person. It's not going to make you a prettier person. It's not going to do anything for you because if it's not authentic to you, then you're just going to look silly doing it. This even applies to people who have all the money, time, and resources in the world to look a certain way, to follow certain trends, and to do things to themselves, to follow a certain appearance for what is current right now. I say that because when you find what works for your individual style, it's always going to look good on you. Your eye is keen to certain aesthetics. There are things that you like in life, whether it's visual, it's the taste of a certain item, it's the scent and the air, it's a music that you enjoy. You like certain aesthetics for a reason. Listen to that intuitive feeling, follow it. Because all you're doing when you're putting on another aesthetic is being a carbon copy when you could stand out with the things that speak to you because it radiates on you more. And the point of that was to reiterate this concept of following trends, following things is not going to make you any better than you already are. Owning more things or making yourself look a certain way is only going to go so far because if you are not who you are, people aren't going to gravitate towards you. People aren't going to be inspired by you. Some of the biggest stars, and it doesn't even have to be a famous person, like even let's say the most popular person you know, what they all have in common is even if they're faking it, which nine times out of ten if they're faking it, we usually see through the facade eventually it all falls apart it always does even my faves from like old hollywood at the end it all fell apart the person they were trying to put off as we know that that's not who they were and those people they can't fake who they are so they are who they are and being themselves creates the audience creates and gravitates people towards them which could be dangerous obviously there's going to be energy vultures there's going to be people who try to dim your shine but being authentic makes it so much easier in the long run. Having integrity, standing on business, being who you want to be and meaning it, setting those boundaries, cutting clear expectations, that's only going to protect you in the long run so that you yourself, by being your authentic self, are not going to be worn down by others who are envious or are jealous or quite literally want what you've got and are gonna try to take you out for it. Ultimately, ask yourself, who are you? And that's a big discussion I've been having with myself. I know who I am and I know who I want to be in the world and I know who I want to show up as. So I need to stop running around it. I need to just show up as that person. I need to just do what I want to do to be that person. I need to just start styling myself the way I want to be styled as that person because the longer you put that off, the longer you run around it, you're just going to find yourself unhappy. You're just going to find yourself wanting that, thinking about it, how can I achieve it? And you're going to feel less than in your current form because you aren't passionate about what you're doing now like there's nothing with it that keeps you happy so like why are you still trying to uphold this facade of 
what you don't want to be is why you have to ask yourself what do you want you don't have to win an award to be an accessible artist you don't have to be the top of your class to still be that profession you want to be as long as you graduate as long as you pass you are still going to be a doctor a lawyer a professor you're still going to have that degree you don't have to have accolades to achieve something and that's why you have to ask yourself what do you want and then once you determine what you want you're going to see yourself doing it you're going to believe you can do it and then you are going to go accomplish what it is and that doesn't mean you have to narrow yourself into one box i'm a big believer that we don't have to pick one apple from the tree we don't have to stay on one course down the river we can always feed off and then reconnect back on there are multiple things you can achieve in this lifetime. And then most importantly, you have to ask yourself why you will win. Not in the sense of why, in the sense of why. I am winning this because I know I'm talented. I know it's something I want to do with my life. I know there are people who are experiencing the things I want to experience and they don't value it the way I value it. So I'm going to win so that I can show them how it's supposed to be done. You have to have that energy, that spark, that passion for what you want to see in your life. You have to put in the work, not as a sense of hard work, but just the work to constantly be battering who you are. The artist you were five years ago and the artist you are now are still creating good art. It may be different, your life view may be different, your quality and technique may be different, but it's still art you produced, so it was good art. It was the art of that moment in time. And you're only getting better, so you're going to attract more and more people to what you're creating. And remember, and remind yourself, vanity and envy are the root of all failures. Don't let yourself fall into a sense of that you're better than and that you're always going to be the it, the why, the end game because there's always going to be another. And once you accept that, and that you embrace that you both can exist in harmony, there will be no envy that will root your downfall. There will be no vanity that clouds you from your own shortfalls. You will still only continue to be authentic, be yourself, and continue to build, create, and perfect who you are. I hope this video reaches who it needs to reach. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, again, don't forget to let me know in all the various forms. The description box is always going to have other information about how to stay connected with me and my platforms. As always, you are important, you are loved, and you are blessed. I wish you all the best, and until we meet again, take care.